thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on cleansing balms. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so during this video, I'm just gonna give you all the quick rundown on five cleansing balms that I've been using that I really like, and I just want to share them with you all. And I know you all know that all cleansing balms are not created equal, and these are all different, and I feel like there's something in here for everybody. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with the Beauty Counter and they have a cleansing balm and this is their Lotus Glow Cleansing Balm and it comes in a glass container like this, which is really good for the environment. You know, glass containers are better for the environment as opposed to plastic. So that's like a plus right there. So this particular cleansing balm is made for normal and dry skin. It does help with dullness, uneven skin texture and dryness and it is a very thick consistency and what I like most about this one is that it's a multitasker so you can use it as a cleansing balm I've even heard of some people using it as a primer but you just only use a little bit of it if you do use it for that I have tested that out with some of my really matte foundations like the bounce uh, foundation by beauty blender and the Estee Lauder foundation and I would just recommend that if you have very dry skin but you can also use this as a nighttime moisturizer so you're really getting a lot of bang for your buck out of this particular cleansing balm so the key ingredient in this particular balm that makes it so great is that it has lotus extract in it and it's going to do a really good job of supporting the skin's luminosity radiance as well as brightness and of course while it's doing that it's going to help soothe and de-stress the skin and it also has jojoba oil in it as well as avocado seed oil and those two are going to do a really good job of mimicking the skin's natural lipids whereby helping the skin retain moisture and keeping your skin balanced and it also has apricot kernel oil in it which is really rich in omega-6 and 9 and that's pretty much going to lock in hydration so again if you have very dull skin, very dry skin, this one would be excellent for you. And I also like using this as a, a mask or a deep moisturizer at night. And when you put it on, and I, I kind of layer mine on thick, and when you wake up in the morning, your skin is very soft and supple. So with all of that being said, so I feel as though this cleansing balm is really good for someone who probably wears light makeup every day, um, something like a tinted moisturizer or a light foundation and someone who is looking for a cleansing balm that's going to provide a lot of anti-aging properties something that can be a multitasker you also don't need a lot of this it is cruelty free it's vegan again they're very environmentally conscious with a lot of their products and they only use glass where needed um, so I know that that is important to some people and also it doesn't have any parabens so overall all. This is a really good one. It is on the pricier side, but either way, I love it and I have been enjoying using this one. All right, so the next one that I have is by Glow Recipe and this is the Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm. Comes in a package like this and they say that this plastic right here or this is supposed to be recyclable as well. And this is another one that's vegan, it's cruelty free. And this one claims to be good for all skin types, for normal, dry, oily and combo skin and this one is good for helping you with uneven skin texture dullness and pores and that's pretty much the papaya that's in this particular cleansing balm and the papaya in this particular product helps to smooth soothe and resurface the skin and it also has papaya seed oil which is going to help keep the skin hydrated and it also has blueberry extract and that's going to help protect your skin against environmental stressors. I did read some of the one star reviews on Sephora and just like the beauty counter cleansing balm, some people, not all, some people did have an issue saying that it felt as though it left a film on their face. And I'm thinking for the people that felt as though there was something still left on their face, it could be the ones that like that squeaky, squeaky clean feeling once they rinse a balm off. And me personally, I don't like 
like that. I don't like my natural oils stripped from my face. So the way that it feels for me when I rinse it off is that my skin is real soft and it still feels hydrated and I don't feel like I've just stripped every piece of oil or every drop of oil that I had on my skin. I like it and again I do feel as though this one is for the folks out there that like to wear the heavier makeup and you're looking for something that's going to really get in there and break it down really really quickly where you don't have to use a lot. This one would be a good one to try. Alright so the next one that I have is by Wish full and this is the clean genie cleansing balm and it comes in a package like this so this particular cleansing balm is very lightweight it is considered clean as sephora so it's not going to have a lot of trash in it you know free of parabens phthalates uh, formaldehyde all of that which is really good and i think that this one is probably the lighter consistency of all of the balms and this one would really be good for some one again who has heavy heavy makeup on and you kind of want it off really quickly it does a really good job of getting mascara off so probably out of all of these this one probably does the best at that and it's just really really lightweight this is another one that's going to help with dullness uneven skin texture and dryness so it does have green tea extract in it which is going to do an excellent job of breaking down the makeup and really getting your skin clean and it's gonna do all that without stress stripping your skin. So once you rinse it off, your skin is not going to feel tight and dry. It also has cherry blossom in it, which is going to help condition the skin. It also has melashite stone in it, and it's pretty much known to have antioxidant properties in it and that's really going to help the skin stay free from environmental stressors which in turn clog pores and you know we, we all know if the pores are clogged it can cause acne and you know we don't want any of that so it does have that ingredient in it but overall this is a really good one and again I think that this one is for the person who wears heavy 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 makeup and you want it to get in there and break down really quickly and you want something light very light and airy this one will be a good one all right so the next one that i have is by elemis and this is their pro collagen cleansing balm and i have the travel size and this is another one that i would put in the same category as the lotus cleansing balm by the beauty counter. This is good if you are really into anti-aging and you want all of those ingredients and all of your skincare products. So this one doesn't have a lot of trash in it either. No parabens, artificial color, no mineral oil, SLS or SLES, none of that. So you don't have to worry about that one. So it's got so many good ingredients in it. It's got elderberry oil in it, which has very high levels of essential fatty acids and other micronutrients, which are really good for the skin. It does have Padina Pavonica in in it which is a Mediterranean algae and according to studies this has some outstanding anti-aging benefits and it also has star flower oil in it as well and I think that this one does a really good job of removing your makeup it is very oily it's very thin and like the others it doesn't strip your skin making it feel tight and dry so this is overall a really good one I personally like any product that has has any type of skincare ingredients that is going to help my skin long term especially if I'm using it day in and day out and lastly what I really do like about this brand is that they offer promises that they're gonna have active plant extracts they're going to have a product that's going to be kind to your skin as well as result driven formulas so this is a really good one you all even though it's pricey that's why i have the travel size in this one this one's a really good one and i love love it and the last one that i have is by bickman 1802 and this is their buttermilk makeup melting cleansing balm and first i gotta say i really do love the packaging it does have a little 
spoon here or applicator where you can use that to get the product out. You don't have to worry about uh, getting any of it contaminated. So this particular melting balm does a really good job of protecting the skin and its microbiome. It doesn't have any trash in it, no fragrance, formaldehyde, mineral oil, no alcohol. It's vegan, it's cruelty free, it's free of sulfates. The list just goes on and on. And this one's really good if you have sensitive skin or very reactive skin. It does have an active botanical blend, which consists of comfrey, blue thistle, cucumber, and aloe. And all of those are going to hydrate the skin as well as protect the skin's moisture barrier. So that right there tells you that it's gonna be excellent for dry skin. And it also has sunflower butter in it, which does a really good job of quickly melting down the makeup, even water resistant makeup, mascara, all of that. It's gonna get it off quickly and efficiently. So it also does have a triple milk complex and that blend pretty much consists of goat milk, milk probiotic and colostrum. And all of that is really going to keep your skin balanced and that's actually something good. And it's also, remember, like I said before, something that's really good for sensitive skin. So anytime I see that in a product, I'm down for it and I'm probably gonna buy it. <laughs> so this one is very lightweight, turns into a oil, like a really thin oil, almost like you're putting a cleansing oil on your face. And again, it's not going to strip your skin whereby leaving it tight. So even though this one is on the pricier side, it's got a lot of good ingredients in it that's going to help your skin over time. And I think it's worth it. I feel as though all of these do a good job of keeping my skin as healthy as possible, but all of these do a really good job of getting the makeup off and keeping your skin as healthy as possible. So that's pretty much it. That's a quick review of the cleansing balms that I've been using. Let me know down in the comments what cleansing balm you've used. Which ones do you like? Have you tried any that I've mentioned? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.